Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video, and in today's video we're going to be doing a what if, being the thumb, what if, the, the thumbnail of the what if is right here, this is going to be a universal intro from now on, so yeah, I'm sorry about that, until I can get more time, because I do have school, summer school at least, I won't be able to post any really good intros, so this is going to be an intro for a while. So, hope to see you later. Join the Discord server, link in the description, and let's get in to the what if. Welcome back. This is part two of what Deku is like is reincarnation. I know a lot of doing a lot of my hero in Naruto. What is? Yeah, I know we're doing a lot of my hero. What is? But yes. Um. So let's get into the what if. Now I believe I left off with I believe Deku meeting All Might and the getting and all of. All Might having Deku inherit his quirk. Now, I'm not, well, you know, I'm asking Deku if he wanted to inherit his quirk, actually. So, we're going to get into this. Now, Deku and All, all Might will then tell um, Deku, pick, I believe, picking up where we left off, to meet him at Tacoma Beach within the next week. And they will start their training for 10 months, uh, start a 10 month training plan. Now, Deku wants to get stronger because Deku does know the story from Sasuke. Sasuke was only supposed to reincarnate when there was a threat to the world that would need his power. So he might need all the power he can get. So Deku wouldn't take this, this would take All Might's quirk. So him and All Might will begin training with it being hand to hand combat. Since Deku's actually pretty well built, so Deku would already be, you know, have enough muscle muscles and his body's already well prepared enough to inherit the quirk actually allowing him to use up and with his use of chakra actually allows him to use up to I want to say around 50% of one for all off the bat so for the next 10 months will be Deku's getting full control of a one for all him uh, sparring with all might on using the quirk in many different ways Deku Using the quirk to boost his already pretty high speeds, boosting his strength and increasing, especially with the um, and especially with him figuring out a secret, fig figuring out a secret with one for all, being the full calling, which is when he allows one for all to constantly flow throughout his body, rather than having it um, focused in one spot. So, Deku for the next 10 months will be training in all these things. Now, at the end of the 10 months, All Might would then tell Deku that he doesn't think Deku should do, um, do the UA entrance exams or during the 10 months instead of after. Now, Deku would ask All Might, All Might why. As All Might would say he's already a pretty impressive person to have control over his power already. Is All Might will then say that he's going to recommend him into UA personally. As Deku would ask, what does he mean by personally? As All Might would then drop drop a um, bomb on Deku, saying that he's going to be a teacher at UA for the first years. As Deku would then ask All Might why, as All Might would tell him the truth, that he was honestly looking for a successor and thought to go to UA to find one. Saying that his sidekick, um, his old sidekick, Night Eye, Sir Night Eye, had already found the one in Muriel Togata, I believe that was his last name. And, but when he met Deku, he had already made up his mind to get Deku to work. He says he had never met Muriel, but he was going to meet Muriel probably that, did that day if the sludge villain wouldn't have escaped from him, from him. So, Deku would say, oh. As Deku would then bow to All Might and thank him. As All Might says, you have a month to prepare for the, um, the, um, 
the recommendation the recommended um, dations exams which I don't know what exactly it was so I'm just going to be saying that it's most likely somewhat the same of the UA entrance exam since they didn't have to fight the robots because uh, that was obvious when Todoroki says so this is what they fought in the um, entrance exam so yes we're going to do that and I'm going to change it up a little bit now obviously um, there was a month later, and deck. And this is like eight months into the training. I'm not gonna go through the full ten months. There's eight months within training. Deku heads to UA for the recommendation exams, and upon arriving, Deku will meet a whole bunch of people. A girl with black hair by the name of Momo, and a kid with red and white hair who can control fire and ice by the name of Soto Todoroki. And what was that one kid, um, that one other kid, um, that, um, declined his offer to you? I can't remember his name. Oh, yeah, his name was Inasa. I had to look it up. Along with many other students. But these are the people who would stand out the most to Deku. As when walking in, everyone will wonder who he is. It's, um, this is when Aizawa would then appear and say, so... You're, you're the one who All Might recommended to the school, shocking everyone. As he would say, I'm going to be, I'm going to be your um, practical exam examiner. Personally, your practical examiner. You want to be fighting me? His dick would nod as he says, "Now take your place. Get to, go and do your um, as the practical." The written exam. That's what it's called. I don't I don't know why I couldn't think of written. So Deku would obviously go sit down and would start to take the written exam with all the others. But that no one would notice that everyone would see that Deku's eyes were actually red, but no one would know why. But I thought I would notice something. Deku was kinda mimicking some of the students' um pencil movements. And their taps, it was as if they were in sync, as if they were one person. As Deku finishes after basically using his Sharingan to copy all the move pencil movements to find the answers, and turns his test in. As he walks away, as Aizawa then escorts him to where his practical exam part, part is going to be, which is Deku versus Aizawa. But now, Deku versus Aizawa and... Uh, you know what, why not say Endeavor? I want to say they bring Endeavor in because Deku has a fire quirk and they want to see how potent is his fire quirk compared to Endeavor's. So, when Aizawa, um, so Aizawa would then tell Deku that they're going to, he's going to be fighting him and his goal is to take some bell, is to take these bells from him and then we'll say also to take another bell from him. As this is when Endeavor would drop down. As Deku's eyes, um, Deku's eyebrow will raise. He says, "I have to take a bell from the number two hero." Is that what you're telling me? As Deku then says, "Fine, let's just get this over with." As Endeavor says, "Against me, you will use your fire." And Deku says, "All I have, I guess, but..." If I'm being honest, this test is a little bit too easy for me. As Azawa would, as Azawa would then show his um, his hair will begin to float as his goggles are then over his head. As Azawa would then say, "Now, try it. Now, let's see if it's too easy for you." As Azawa would then see, as Deku's eyes are now going from black back to red, or one of them is, he can't see the other eye. And as I was says, how is your quirk still working? It says, Deku, as Deku says, oh, this isn't a quirk. This is my bloodline. As Deku would then say, began going through hands on as he says, fire style, fireball jutsu. As he shoots out a fireball, wait, you know what, a flame, a stream of flames. The f like, you know, when they shoot out those stream of flames, they have variation of the fireball jutsu. As Azawa and Endeavor will both dodge, as Deku would, would, then, would then say, hmm. As Deku then says, 
Never thought I had to use this tutu. As Deku then says, water. Um, I believe Deku de um, Sasuke does have a nature affinity to all five fin uh, nature types, and I think Yang release, or maybe it's Yin release. No, so also I believe Naruto has Yin Yang release. So, uh, what is that one due to that Boruto uses? I believe it was called Warsaw Tidal Wave, where he shoots out that that big tidal wave from his mouth. As uh, Aizawa and um, <clears throat> Aizawa and Endeavor will be shocked by this. Deku has multiple quirks. But Azawa is try going to try to attribute attribute this to one for all, seeing as how the teachers would know about one for all and at least the fundamentals of it and things like that. But Deku, uh, Aza Endeavor within as Deku, how does he have this many quirks? Is he a half and half like his son? As Deku says, no. But this is a bloodline, something that was passed down through his family. As yes, Deku is a distant, um, is a distant, rel a very um, is a descendant of Sasuke and will be making him that. So he would have unlocked the shard. He wouldn't have unlocked the shard gun because chakra didn't. His, the chakra eventually stopped flowing through everyone. It became just minimum, so no one really knows how to expand their chakra reserves. All Sasuke did was unlock Deku's possibilities as an Uchiha, really, and give well and give him his powers. So, but that's really it. So, um, um, Endeavor would say, then, what is this? As Deku says, well, my bloodline allows me control over all of, of over five elements and some sub-elements. I don't know. Which, I don't think, the, is, I don't, I believe Inferno style doesn't count as a sub-element. Because I believe it's fire and lightning release, but it's, Itachi also has Amaterasu. So, that doesn't really make sense. And it can't be a fire, an advanced fire jutsu because... Then people like Hirzen or um, Madara would have it. So I don't really see. I believe it should be Fire and Lightning. That allows Deku to control it. That's probably what allows him to use it. As Deku would then. So Deku would then go on and say. I can use wind. Earth. Lightning. Water. And fire. I can cast illusions. I can, I can copy techniques uh, or fighting styles. I can read my opponent's moves. I can force them. Well, by putting them in under illusions, I can force them to give me information. And my quirk gives me an energy boost that produces lightning. Also, then it gives me a speed boost and a strength boost. Endeavor says, so how does the bloodline and a quirk differ? As Deku says, a, the bloodline came from before quirks even existed, way before quirks existed. Probably in the time, in the era of shinobi or ninjas, which were thousands, if, if, if thousands of years ago, instead of hundreds of years ago, it was thousands. As Endeavor and, um, and um, as I will be shocked by this, as Deku then says, Water style, water dragon jutsu as he uses the water that he just spewed out. As Aizawa and Endeavor would try to stop this, with, um, but Aizawa notices Quirk isn't working on Deku. So um, Endeavor would try to boil the water. But something weird would happen. Deku would then um, have lightning over his hand. But it's not the Shidori because it's not giving out the distinct sound. But they can just see that it's lightning. As Deku then says, Thunderclap Arrow. So yeah, Sasuke, I'm just going to say Sasuke would have copied this technique from Boruto. So the lightning would have mixed with the water. And when Endeavor would have, in, in, um, would have basically added the fire to it, fire, water beats fire. So, and it also heats up in, uh, because of the lightning. Um... And it well, fire doesn't really beat lightning, really. I mean, earth lightning beats earth release, earth release beats water release, fire beats uh, water release beats fire release, fire release beats wind release, wind release beats wind, water, fire, lightning release, which is really a confusing cycle because you would think that oh, so fire beats wind, it should also be lightning, earth, and water, but 
it's just a confusing cycle, really, to me. But yeah, that's beside the point. Now, Deku um, would have then said, I'm going to show you to something that I would like you to keep a secret. As Aizawa and Endeavor would say, what is that? As Deku would then say this. As Deku would then say, heavenly hand power. As they then see as Deku reaches into his kunai pass before then um before throwing his kunai into a pass before bringing a, a ninja um, knife or a kunai knife. As Deku then throws it behind Aizawa and Endeavor only for them to see Deku then switch places with a mid throw. As Deku then brings, brings his sword down with the um um with lightning coursing off of it, forcing them both to jump back. As this is when Deku would then use a um but then throw his sword behind him or in the air. Before then Deku then disappears as if he was lightning itself. As Deku then appears in front of Aizawa. Before grabbing the belt, and before Aizawa could do anything, Deku, Deku's eyes would give off a purple glow, or his left eye would give off a purple glow. As Deku then switches with his sword, as Deku then says, Alright, Aizawa sensei, you're out of this match now. As Aizawa then nods, before then I'm um, leaving to watch the rest of the match. As Endeavor says, now, let's see what that firepower of yours can do against Mom. As Endeavor would then, um, would then shoot out a stream of flame. I don't really know any much about Endeavor, really, uh, about his quirk at least. I just know that he has a fire quirk, a very powerful fire quirk. I believe it's called Hell Flames or Hellfire. It's one of those. And, um, if I'm being honest, I don't really know much about his quirk. So, yeah, that's probably why I won't go into details about his attacks. So, and that doesn't really matter to me. So, um, Deku would then say, well then. Give me the biggest attack you got. As Deku dodges this attack, as Endeavor says, fine. As Endeavor, I believe his biggest attack was the prominence burn. Now, instead of Endeavor attacking Deku directly, he would use it as if he was basically attacking Deku, but just to shoot the streams at Deku. As Deku will hold up one, another hand sign, as he says, this is a, a Jutsu of my ancestors, Clam Emperor. As Deku then says, fire style, majestic destroyer flame. She shoots out the biggest wall of flame Endeavor has ever seen. As Endeavor's flames are encompassed in his, only adding more fire to the um, um, to Deku's fire. As it encompasses Endeavor, as Endeavor is sent flying, or is actually being burnt, because he's he's used to a normal temperature, but he's overheating now because of Deku's flame. All right, so yeah, now um, Endeavor would then say, "Is that all you got?" As Deku then sees his Endeavor's on his last legs. As Deku then says, "Look, I can see you're extremely worn out from my last attack." He says, "No, I won't let you beat me." As Endeavor tries to rush at Deku, but mid-flight, his flames would begin to overheat, heat as they begin to turn blue. As Endeavor falls out of falls down to the ground. As Deku then puts Endeavor under paralysis Genjutsu. Saying it's just the end here now. I won't let you hurt yourself. I believe you're a good hero. But you should You should how do I don't wanna say? You shouldn't overwork yourself. As Endeavor, let's say, <laughs> to think I lost to someone who's not even in the hero course yet. <laughs> you surprised me, kid. Here. As Deku then asks, what's this? He says, I want to train you personally to use your fires, oh, firepower a lot better. While you do seem to have much more power and control over it than I do, there's still some tricks I can teach you. As Deku went on, he says thank you. As he helps Endeavor off the ground. As Deku, as Endeavor um, 
once Deku helps him up, his endeavor says, Hey, are you dating anyone? As Deku within as um say, um, no, why? He says, I have a daughter with an ice quirk. I would um at least like to have grandchildren who have a mixture of both um fire and um a fire and ice quirk. Because my quirk seems to overheat. As Deku says, so you want me to participate in a, um, a quirk marriage? As Endeavor said, yes, if that's all right with you. As Deku would then look at Endeavor before saying, look, I don't believe I, I don't know if I say it this way, I do think I did make you a college, so Deku should be of legal age. So, it's not weird. So, um, Endeavor would then tell, uh, Deku would then tell Endeavor, look, I'm not going to force anyone into a quirk marriage. If she doesn't like me, then there's that. That's the end. And Endeavor says, you're a good kid. Endeavor never begins to think, if only I was that good. I shouldn't have forced her into a, into a quirk marriage. As Deku... Then, um, in Endeavor walk off the field. And Deku says, oh, by the way, I already got the bells. And Endeavor says, huh? As Deku says, yeah, I had got the bells, um, before we shot out, out our last attack. How did you? Um, as Deku says, well, I, when I had shot out their, their fire attack. Well, when, um, when you had shot their fire attack and I dodged. I had, um, let's just say, through a shirk, I had through something so fast that you no know, no normal eye could perceive it. So, um, it cut off the bells, and then I switched with that object before then switching back with the bells. Just never said anything. And there was, this endeavor looks at him and says, "Hmm, kid, you'd be a perfect hero overall. Uh, uh, overall hero, you could probably be a stealth hero also. You're a perfect rescue hero." With that switching ability of yours. You are a good um, fighting hero, for what I can see. I'm happy to see that you're um, the reason why UA let you in. As Deku would thank Endeavor. As Nezu would then appear and says, Hello! As Deku says, Oh my god, what is that? Are you, are you a summon? As he says, Summon. And as Deku would say, Yeah, like an animal that people can no I don't think anyone can summon animals anymore did you wander from your summoning realm as I, as Nizzy says we'll talk about that later I've came here to personally welcome you into UA you've obviously passed enough to get into UA especially seeing as how you beat the number two hero in, I, in Aizawa welcome um you start tomorrow. You'll be moving into, um, well, you'll be coming back next week to move into your dorm room. As Deku would nod. As Deku and, um, walks off as, in, as Endeavor gets some medical attention. And this is where we get into a time skip to, a, to about two months later. This is actually after you, um, actually like a, three months later. I'm gonna give them, um, this is actually a month after the entrance exams, the actual entrance exams for the rest of the applicants who weren't recommended. So, Deku would have, um, I don't want to do Deku. Oh, right. Deku would have seen, um, noticed that Bakugo had gotten, um, would have actually been there when Bakugo was accepted. If Bakugo then asked Deku, what about him? What school is he going to? As Deku says, I'm going to UA. Bakugo says, what? How? But you haven't got any letters. Deku says, I was recommended. As Miski knew about this, but decided not to tell Bakugo. As in, as Bakugo looks at his mom, she says, did you know about this? As she said, yeah. As, she, as Bakugo looks at Deku and says, who recommended you? As Deku then looks at him and says, all my. Shocking Bakugo. It's all my recommended you? His Deku says, yeah. And I fought the number two hero. And he's decided to teach me some more things about my fire. As Deku then says, well, come on, Bakugo. Let's go. Let's go celebrate. On me, obviously. 
They all have a very big celebra celebrations for both Bakugo and Deku's acceptance to UA. Even though Deku was actually accepted the day of the exams, due to how well Deku did in, in the practical portion and in the um and in the uh, what is it called the written exams, Deku did pretty really good actually. He showed what it takes to be a stealth hero, and and he can gather intelligence pretty easily. From all his powers they describe, he can control the elements, which means he can be probably one of the most well-rounded heroes in the system. If Deku needs to go underground, Deku can also go underground. Now, I don't think... I'm still going to have Deku's dream to become the number one hero, but... I don't think he's going to be as big of a dream as it was for Deku and Kanan. That's just a goal, but not he he's not well depending on that goal. But if he doesn't reach number one, he just wants to be a top hero. So yeah. Now, um, this is where we get to a time skip to this first day of UA. I think I have enough time to go over the first day, which is just the um quirk apprehension test. So yes. Now, everyone we will walk into UA and we'll meet our good classmates. As Shoto would then say, Midoriya. You're the one who fought my father, right? She says, yes. It's Shoto then hugs Deku. She says, you're my hero. As Deku says, um, could you stop hugging me? And why exactly am I your hero? As, De as Shoto, as Deku then see Shoto is crying. He says, you beat that old man into using, into overusing his quirk. He hasn't been able to do hero, he wasn't able to do hero work for two weeks because of it. As Deku then says, oh, and I thank you so much for that. Anything you want, just name it. As Deku then looks at Bakugo, and Bakugo says, it's Bakugo's scarves, looks away and says, don't look at me. As Deku says, I'll get back to you on that. As this is when all the students will walk in, there's no interaction with, or, um, with, Uraraka, because Deku really never met her, actually. I still want her to pass, because, you know, why not? But, yes, Uraraka still did pass, and things like that. They did stop the zero point before Eric crashed her, so she's safe. Now, um, moving on, um, this is when a, t um, a yellow sleeping bag would come in, as everyone would say, what? This is when the head will poke out. It's Deku who says, Ah, um, Mr. Arizal. <laughs> nice to see you again. He says, Yes, nice to see you again, Midoriya. As as I was says, Hmm, you're already quiet. That's good. Meet me outside. Get your gym uniforms on. As the entire class was asked, What about orientation? As as I was says, You a list of teachers teach their own way. If you have to, if you're wasting time by going to orientation, you guys are here to be heroes. You're not in general studies. You're not in um, support group. You're in here in the hero. Um, you're in the hero classes. So, put your gym clothes on and meet me outside now. As he leaves, as everyone begins to get prepared, as Azawa walks out as everyone walks out as as I was then tosses a ball to Deku says Midoriya you by far scored the highest you've by far done the well the very best on any test um throughout any test at UA you've shown the most potential in any out of any of the UA students. That bloodline of yours makes up for whenever I erase your your quirk. And you're very efficient in using it, which means that you've had training in it. How far can you were you able to throw a baseball and so and um and your junior high? So I'm just gonna be giving Deku a score of three hundred or three hundred meters. This is how it says without your quirk. Deku says, Yeah, I know. It says without your blow on it. Deku says, I know. Zaizawa then says, How did you I train my physical strength a lot, really. As Aizawa says, oh. As Aizawa would then tell Deku to throw the ball as far as he can using his quirk and his bloodline. 
as Deku would nod, as Deku would then add chakra to his hand before then using one for all full cowling and throwing the ball at a good 70%. No, no, at a good 80% of use of one for all. As Deku would then get a sign of over 3,000 meters. As Deku says, I could have possibly thrown it further with the full use of my bloodline and quirk in total, but that would be literally overkill with how how strong that would be. And it could also damage my eyes a little bit. And it's causing immense energy drain. As I always say as well, next time, use your full quirk. I don't want I don't want you holding back the use of your quirk. This is a test. To show me what what control you have over your quirk and how strong it is. Is that good or not? As I would then tell everyone, this is a quirk apprehension test. As everyone would then begin to say about how fun this is going to be. As I would say as well, if it's fun, then you might mind won't mind me having me a little fun. He says whoever gets last place will be expelled. It's as simple as that. Try your hardest. Good luck. As everyone be shocked by this. As Azawa then begins to go through the rest of the test. This is Azawa does the um I believe it was called the fifty meters or I believe it was fifty meter dash or the sprint thing where they time themselves. I don't know what that, that race when it's two people and they sprint on festival but now if I'm being honest, Deku will place first and everyone and the one I'm going to talk about the most is the grip test. Now, as I would then hand out these machines to test their grip, as the highest one was, I believe, it was Shoji. Um, I believe that's who it was. Um, who got the, the man with the dupli arms. Or I believe that's what his quirk was, dupli arms. And um, he had placed the highest, but then Midoriya was given one. As everyone then sees as Midoriya made a purple rib cage with a, um, a purple rib cage with an arm. As he broke the machine, giving him the highest score. And that was by far the most use of power that Deku's ever shown. So, yeah. As I was then saying, very welcome, very good class. And especially you, Midori. You placed number one overall. As Bakugo say, Deku, where did you get this power from? You've never had a quirk your entire life. As I will be begin to listen into this, as he knows about Deku's bloodline. As Deku says, I had a quirk. As I, Deku then, as I always sees it in Deku's eyes, that Deku's lying about the quirk part, but he's talking about his bloodline. It's from what Deku can talk, see. From what I always tell him, can tell at least. He says, I just decided to hide it from everyone. Mizawa says that's pretty good and how no one really knows too much about your quirk. That's really decent. And a very good idea. You never know who you might have known might come back to bite you. They might come back to bite you if you're showing a lot of people your quirk. As Deku would then thank the teacher before then walking off. As Mizawa would then say Mineta. You have some potential, so I won't, I won't expel you. But you better use that potential, and you better use your skill and your quirk well, and behave. As this is where I will be ending off part two of What If Deku with Sasuke, Sasuke's reincarnation. I hope you guys have enjoyed the What If. I enjoyed recording it. Link, link in the description. Go join the Discord server. Go subscribe to the Aristotle Clan. I will be uploading part one of What If Sasuke came on to a Sharingan there. So, yes. See you guys later. Drip Kage.